This box has just arrived, which you know what that means. Girls crochet hook unboxing. Brand new hooks have joined the yarn dungeon. I was actually really excited about this line. So it is the limited edition jumbo resin crochet hooks. Lately, they've been getting into bigger sized crochet hooks, which is fantastic. It's really opened up the world of what patterns can I use this for? Because honestly, I don't use jumbo hooks that often. I don't use big chunky yarn that much. I mean, I have quite a bit of it, but like I never know what to do with it. So hopefully having these new hooks, it'll bring up a little bit of inspiration. Maybe I'll start doing some different patterns. I don't know. What comes to mind immediately is blankets and I don't really need to do another blanket, but I think that might be the direction that I'm gonna go with this one. Anyways, they had three different sizes. There was a 20 millimeter, 25 and a 30. And I say was because they are sold out. Just like all the other brand new launches for Pearl's Crochet, you have to know when they're launching. I only was able to grab two of them, the 20 millimeter and the 30 millimeter. So we're sticking with the brand new boxes that they're using. I was wondering if they're gonna switch it up for this line, but it looks like they're staying the same. And this hook is supposed to be a blush color, which makes sense that they went with this type of color for the box. I have the same design over here. And I think on the other side, it says, yes, wait, open the other end. So you know exactly what end to use. I do not know what I'm gonna store these in. So if I want to travel with them, all of my frills crochet hook containers are not designed for these jumbo hooks. So I wonder if they're gonna come out with new ones, especially since this entire thing is resin, I definitely would want to put it in something if I'm gonna use it out of the yarn dungeon. So for now, I'm just gonna keep this box. In the future, maybe they'll be doing that. So this is the 30 millimeter crochet hook. And first off, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I am not a fan of this color. Like this color is just, it's not for me. I feel like we could have gone many other different directions. Since it said it was blush, I was expecting maybe a little bit more of pink to it or like a rosé. Yeah, it's just everybody likes different colors and uh, this one's, it's not for me. We're just gonna leave it there. Apart from the color, it is rather heavy because this entire thing is made out of resin and 30 millimeters, like it's a hefty hook, that's for sure. Sometimes that bothers me, other times I'm fine with it. So I'll just have to like test it out and really like work with it. My problem with jumbo yarn is that I don't use it that often because I always get fatigued a lot quicker. Just the nature of it, jumbo hook, jumbo yarn, the whole action of crocheting ends up just being all lot more work so you really have to want to make the project that you're in and this is the 20 millimeter crochet hook so I do like the design on the bottom. In both of them, you'll notice that they don't have the signature furls crochet handle. So like this, the ergonomic shape, that's totally missing from these jumbo ones. And now I'm just really interested to see if that's gonna affect my wanting to crochet with these. We'll see when I test these out, but they are incredibly long too, compared to their other hooks. Like this is their Odyssey hook. I guess I should grab a resin one. Like that is the streamline resin in comparison to the jumbo hooks. Let's weigh both of them, see what they come in. So this is the 20 millimeter hook, 92 grams. I don't even have a guess for this one, to be honest. So it definitely has some weight to it. Let's also see what the length is. The 30 millimeter might be a little bigger. No, I think that they're pretty much the same. So it comes in about 10 inches in length. Just as a comparison, here is their candy shop line, which is one of their smaller hooks. But I'm just curious now what these come in at. Not even six inches. So since it says limited edition and not limited time, it makes me think that maybe they were just testing these out, see if anyone was interested in bigger sizes, which obviously we all were because we sold them all out. Now we just have to wait and see if it's actually gonna come back again and be a permanent part of their site. Handcrafted from beautiful blush swirled resin. Mm, is it swirled? Yeah, I suppose so. Like there is a little bit. It's like a little white shimmer in there, I guess. 
available in sizes 20, 25, and 30, need some jumbo yarn, check out Wool Ease Wow. We've seen them do this before with Lion Brands where they carry some of their yarn in a limited amount of colors and also a limited selection. So they have five different colors, cream, pearl gray, cranberry, midnight, and pumpkin spice. Here is the cranberry. That's the one that I ordered. This is another line of yarn from Lion Brands that I have never used before. It is super, super chunky. So when I first saw it on the site, I was comparing it to their Wool Ease Thick and Quick because it looked very similar, but this is much chunkier. For one skein, it's 8.5 ounces, 66 yards, and jumbo number seven suggests using a 19 millimeter hook, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Only thing that I'm not like a super big fan of it's hand wash and lay flat to dry so if I were to make a blanket out of it I would have to hand wash it which makes me lean more towards a throw blanket it's not a deterring factor it's just I try not to use it as much as possible I have a couple of blankets already that are specifically hand wash so I try not to add to that as much as possible but this red is really really pretty I don't know it might be an exception to the rules that I have for myself. I think this yarn would look really pretty with a herringbone half double crochet, especially if I'm planning on doing squares for this blanket. I like the stitch. I like how thick it is, regardless of which one I use, because like this is the 20 millimeter. I really wish I would have been able to snag the 25 because that would have been perfect. Like this seems going to be pretty tight for the stitch. And then the 30 millimeter is just going to be way too big. It'll look nice as like a granny square stitch type of throw. I want it to have a little bit of a tighter feel. So I'm going to get some coffee, hang out, test this out a little bit and see what I think about both the hooks and the yarn. liked the yarn but it wasn't very tightly wound together so I felt like I was struggling with it a little bit. I do think it would be good to go up a size in that. I think for blankets this is going to be really really good. There happens to be a Joanne and Fabrics right around the corner and they have a couple other different colors. I was interested in the pumpkin spice and the eggplant. I don't know I just must not have seen it when I ordered this other stuff online but they have in stock supposedly. Eggplant and also there's like a cream and a mustard color so i'm just gonna go pop in real quick check it out and um yeah maybe i don't know figure out what i'm gonna do with it because i just don't even know yet i think honestly the best thing is a blanket like i just or a pillow cover and i'm not really in the mood to make covers for my pillows or maybe like a throw that might actually be the direction i'm gonna go
highly caffeinated today. This is a coffee place that I have seen many, many times, and every time I've wanted to stop in there, they've been closed for the day. So today was my lucky day, and I got to try them out. It's fantastic. I will be going back there as often as I can. Like every time I drive past it, I'm getting a latte from there. Let's get into the yarn first. So I like the yarn as it is. I still think if I had the 25 millimeters, that would be perfect for this yarn. It's very loosely wound and it would be like one strand that would get snagged on. So I worked up the 20 with this black yarn and then the 30 over here. With the 30, you can see that it's just huge spaces in between each stitch, which is kind of a look. So for this project, I am gonna continue on with the 30 millimeter. For me personally, it worked a little smoother and I could go a lot faster with it compared to the 20 millimeter. Now that's not saying that I'm not going to use the 20 millimeter hook for anything. It just this yarn, I preferred the 30 millimeter crochet hook. I got a ton of this and I think it's going to look fantastic together in just big chunky squares. What I really should have done was grab some of the gray yarn and then use that to mattress stitch it together. Not mattress stitch. Zigzag stitch it together so it looks almost like a Frankenstein blanket. I might actually have to go back now and snag a couple, but they did not have very much in store, which I was looking it up online and this has been released before. It was discontinued and it seems like they're just bringing it back. I don't know if it's for a limited time only or if it's coming back to stay. The yarn at Lion Brand tends to cycle quite a bit. It's here for now. So I'm gonna get all the yarn that I can. I stocked up on probably more than I was gonna need for two blankets just by itself with the black yarn and the cranberry I got enough for a throw blanket the 30 millimeter hook I didn't really sense the heaviness after I worked with it for a little while but I did get a little bit like fatigued with working with everything all together just again that's a personal thing I don't use big chunky yarn like this so sitting down and doing a completely different project it just I think it's gonna take some getting used to the 20 millimeter crochet hook I was totally fine with I Obviously, I worked up this whole thing and I could have kept working it up, but I had to stop and go get another coffee. So that's the only reason I stopped on that one. But I am looking forward to trying different patterns with these. Like, again, I am excited that they're here and that we've seen these bigger sizes. Enjoy the fact that they're resin. It is a rather long hook, so just keep that in mind when you're working this up. I liked the fact that it rests on my wrist here. I felt like I could get going a little bit quicker, it had a little more momentum to it to pull the giant chunky yarn all the way through. So it didn't bother me, but just keep that in mind. It also has a steep slope right here, but it's very comparable to their candy shop line and even the streamline in and of itself. It's just more exaggerated since it's a jumbo hook, but I didn't find it to be an issue as I'm like working through the yarn and every time I pull it, oh, there you can see it even like split right there. I think this yarn and I are just not vibing. Okay, so when I pull it through to make a stitch, naturally it wants to land right on the edge of this slope. So that's gonna be the gauge for the entire hook. I wasn't finding that I had to really make an emphasis to pull and get it to that size. It just naturally went there. Like right on the edge where the design starts on the bottom, that's where I put the bottom of my hand and then just worked up all my stitches. It just wants to land right at the end of it. So for me, I'm happy with it. As a whole, I'm very excited that they're adding jumbo size hooks. They just haven't really had on their site yet. Now that I have the hooks and I'm gonna keep playing around with them, I wanna find some other patterns to kind of see how it's gonna work with different yarn, different texture, and different stitches in and of itself. The stitches that I used was the herringbone half double crochet, a single crochet, and a half double crochet. Those are kind of my favorite go-to. The herringbone half double crochet, that's the stitch of the month for my crochet along, so that's the reason I wanted to play around with it. But the other two I use quite often for many different projects. The 20 millimeter, it might be something that I could make a cardigan from if I found the right type of yarn to work it up into. Again, since this is hand wash only, I don't think I would want to make it into a cardigan. I just have too many other ones that I have to hand wash. And since it's big and chunky, fluffy yarn, I would wanna be able to throw it in the wash. But I'm excited 
to see if this becomes a permanent line on their site. Obviously the 25 millimeter, I would absolutely love to try that. Maybe since this sold out the very first day, we'll see even more lines for the big chunky crochet hooks. And again, the fact that it was a resin crochet hook, it glides really easily, just like their streamlined swirls do. My opinion on the jumbo hooks is that I hope that they stay and I hope we get different colors and more sizes added onto it. But let me know what you think. Are you excited to try the bigger size hooks or maybe you have patterns in mind already that you wanna use and work these up? Let me know. Otherwise, that is it for me today. So thank you for hanging out with me, ghouls, testing out these brand new jumbo size frills crochet hook and also the jumbo Lion Brand Woolies Wow. I will keep you updated on this blanket. I feel very confident that it's gonna go as quick as possible. And who knows, maybe by the end of the month, I'll actually have it done. But that is it for me today, ghouls. So again, thank you for hanging out with me. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.